Welcome to Twisted Brush Pro Studio. I'm using version 17.16. In this video I'm going to show how to create um, fractal images with some of the brushes that are in the Pro series of art sets. First thing I'm going to do is uh, set my background to black. So I'm going to use the luminance slider to get black and then click here to fill the page. Next I'm going to select a layer above that. Uh, clicking on the layer mini bar I create a new layer automatically. Now for my Art Pro series of art sets I'm going to select uh, there's actually uh, fractal brushes in the design art set. We see uh, four of them here. There's also a series of fractal brushes in the Mandela set. I'm going to use the ones from the Mandela set uh, because I want some symmetry and I want it centered on the page. I'm just going to select the Pro Mandela fractal one. Also note, uh, I've already set up, uh, prior to starting the video, a square page. Uh, that works best when you're using the Mandela art set. Uh, you could do that from the page, set page size. You can see uh, that both the width and the height are the same. I'm just going to use the defaults here uh, for this brush. I see there are a variety of sliders to alter the look of that. Um, but I'll just use the, the defaults. So as you start to drag your brush, you can see you have control over what gets created with your, with your design. Now we see here the symmetry was 4, which will lead you to a look which is, uh, you know, square symmetrically. I'm going to change that to 3 and clear this layer and start again. Now you see that uh, the look is quite different uh, when you change the, the symmetry. As you play around with this you'll start to uh, get, get familiar with how you can control this. As you're dragging your cursor you'll notice that if you have your cursor covering about uh, half or less of image which is already on the page, you'll pick up some of that uh, image and it will be um, used to help start to paint. So you can see I clicked as I covered half and it started to draw um, and create duplicate copies of that area. In addition, it's adding new color uh, as well as you start to paint. So you can either do it with one stroke, multiple strokes, um, doesn't really matter. You can alter the colors here which will give you um, obviously a quite a different look. Um, if you select the color modifier here and you go to combos you can see there already are a variety of different color combos set up. This first one that I'm using which was a default for this brush, brush uh, is actually the first one in the list. So I can select uh, color 2. We see our color combinations have changed. I'm going to erase this layer again and let's select symmetry 5 and small amount of rotation. You can see now we have a little bit of rotation in the brush. In addition the, the color set is, is uh, going to be a little bit different. So you can see that's the basics of creating the fractals. It's not necessary to have a black background but these brushes really are designed to work best with a black background. In addition, once you've created that uh, image on a layer, you may want to go into filters and there are a couple of uh, things you may want to go to photo, photo detailer, say preview, and you can uh, adjust the edge detail or contrast. You can then later adjust your, your fractal to give you some, some uh, different looks.